All right, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. It is time again for a booster box. It's booster box Wednesday. We're continuing on with our case of Cosmic Eclipse. Box five out of the case. We've already had three rainbows from the case, but hopefully we are still gonna hit some other good stuff. We're of course still hoping for, you know, full art, alternate art, all that sort of stuff. Got a reverse jang oh, and a golet to start us off with. Not much left to say on the actual set itself, but it's cool. I do like it still, you know, the usual. Oh, we got something good. Hey, well, we got the coughing character rare, and we have Charizard and Breaks and GX, one of the better GXs to get because of the level of uh, collectability to it. Very cool card, very nice start. Couple of packs in. We're still at the point where so many uh, boxes in, plus we've opened some additional packs uh, between just the, you know, just blisters and stuff that we've opened, and we're both still missing hollows from our set. We're both missing the Source Book hollow. I think we're maybe both missing Dusk Noir as a hollow. I think it's just because it's, you know, such a large set, and because the pull rates and stuff like GXs and stuff are really good, it means that there's less regular hollows per box. So we're stuck just waiting. That was our first hollow, there's a Steelix. But of course, you'd rather be missing hollows than missing GXs, etc. Maybe once I finish the case, we'll uh, show off our binders where we're up to and then continue on with more booster boxes after that. I do still need to do the uh, video showing off our Hidden Fate binders so far, but we're still waiting on getting our second copy of the Ultra Premium Collection. Once we get that and we've opened that, we'll do a bit of a binder update. Oh, reverse a little nine tails there, which is not bad. I quite like that artwork. We've got a nice Weavile. Hey, there's the foil source book I said we both needed. Great, one down, one to go. Hopefully we'll get one in the next box as well. I think it's pretty unlikely we're going to get two in this box. So we'll fingers, keep our fingers crossed for the future. Hey, we've got another character over with the Excadrill there. For anyone who hasn't uh, watched the previous box openings from this case, Yes, I am aware that the character rares are a little off-center. Yes, they're all uh, matching in how much off-center they are, and I think they're gonna be for the entire rest of the case. But it may mean that we put together, you know, complete sets of off slightly off-centered character rares. Maybe that will interest someone, we'll see. At least it's not, you know, every reverse, because that would be very irritating. I'm struggling to think of stuff to say, uh, just because everything's already been said. Oh, reverse Cosmog, and hey, Naganadel and Guzzlord GX. Not a bad GX there. So I figure I'll just let you enjoy some pack openings, enjoy some background music, rather than having to listen to me repeat the same thing that I've already said a dozen times. Nearly halfway through the box, so we've done okay from the first half of the box. You know, two character rares, two GXs isn't bad from half a box. This is the last pack of the first half of the box, so we'll see if we have anything else in here. A reverse Decidueye looks cool, and Foil Guzzlord. Alright, so I'm hoping the second half of the box is a little better. Hoping this is where we get some, you know, some full arts or something else rather than just your general GXs. 
got Reverse Absol, hey, and starting off strong, there's Full Art Red and Blue, one of the tag team supporters. Very cool looking card, very nice start to the second half of the box. I know I said a few weeks ago I'm looking to get some, uh, ooh, full lot. well, the character I mean, you I've been looking to get some people in to do commentary with me on these videos. Hasn't come about just yet, but I am still trying to figure some stuff out. Keep you guys updated, obviously, you'll see stuff if we get it. We've got a reverse Persimian. Hey, we've got Soul Valley GX. Not a bad GX. That one, I guess, not a bad GX in terms of artwork. I really like the artwork on that Soul Valley even though we already pulled a couple of them. Yeah, as always, I say in these videos, if there's anything you want me to talk about, you know, while I'm opening boxes and stuff, just let me know, leave me a comment, and I'll try and fit it into the next video. Uh, unlike with Unified Minds, I'm actually filming these just one a week, rather than with Unified Minds, where I filmed the, the entire case worth in one day and then just put them out. Hey, Reverse Vaporeon, that's very cool. We love Vaporeon. Yeah, I, the Unified Minds I put out, I filmed all in one go and then just slowly put out, so it was not something I could do extra live commentary on, answer questions, but now I can. Ooh, Foil Stoutland, very nice. It's a lot easier for me to do it now, so if you have questions, just let me know, drop me comments or whatever. Hey, Blastoise and Piplup GX. Yeah, that one's a very cool artwork too. I really like how the Piplup looks in this one. But we're not doing too bad. We've had uh, five hits so far. Four of them just being regular GXs. Hoping for probably one more hit that isn't just a regular GX, so either another full art or be great if there was a rainbow or a golden trainer, but we've already had three rainbows out of the case so far, so that might be pushing a bit. Ooh, that's a... Oh, we got the... the so we got the Pikachu character rare, and this one isn't off-center like the others are, so maybe we've hit the end of the run of off-center ones. This is my favorite character rare, though. It just looks so cool. I really love how that one looks. so many of that Marshadow. I'm sure we have so many of all of the res from this set already, but I don't know why that Marshadow just always stands out to me whenever I see it. Foil Ultra and a Crosma. Five packs left. I said another hit would be nice. Uh, hopefully we're not just stuck on these ones. So you know, a five hit box isn't always terrible, but a five hit box where four of them are regular GXs is a bit eh. We'll see. Oh, I think something's peeking out there. We've got a trap inch. Oh, we have Vile Plume GX. Very cool. It's got Erica in the background of the artwork there, one of the ones that has gym leaders in. So you know there's an extra hit, not an extra full art or anything like that, but still not too bad. Reverse Victini and a Raichu. Last couple of packs coming. Two more packs. Let's see if we can get anything good. We've got, oh, it looks like we do. We've got Reverse Ponyard. Oh, and we have Arceus and Dialga and Palkia GX. This is the alternate art full art where it shows them as the statue. Oh, that is a really cool looking card. This is this one is genuinely one of my favorite arts from the set. Said that way back to seeing uh, <laughs> them first released in Japanese. That is a very, very nice pull. And of course, the card itself is very playable. So that increases the value of it. And then, final pack. Probably not gonna be anything too amazing. We've got Reverse Magnemite and we've got a Dragali. All right, not too terrible for our box this week. Couple of nice full arts, quite a few GXs. We got 
Charizard breaks in, it kind of down goes Lord, Silvalli, Blastoise and Piplup and Vileplume as our regular GXs, and we got Arceus and Dialga and Palkia, and Red and Blue as our full art, and we got four character rares. So I can't be too disappointed with that. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome Pokemon content from DJ Gigabyte. Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all! all. <laughs>